Hey everybody, Allie Doran here. I have one of my favorite recipes I want to make with you guys today. We are gonna make venison stew. I've got some venison meat here, and this is one of my reader favorite recipes on my website, missalliskitchen.com. Venison stew is an excellent, excellent way to utilize some stew meat or even break down some roasts or chops that you have in the freezer from your harvest. What I'm gonna do first actually to start building the stew, I'm gonna get my oven turned on. I'm just gonna turn it on to, oh, say medium high heat because I wanna get a nice sear on this venison. And I have it sitting on a paper towel here. That helps to absorb some of the old blood and a lot of people complain about gamey flavors with venison and this is a really great way to absorb some of that. You'll see that I've left a lot of the sinew on the pieces and I've left some fat on. What's gonna happen is this is gonna braise in my pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to sear. So I've got this oil pretty hot here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my cubed venison. That's gonna sizzle away. So now we're gonna work on the vegetables for the soup or the aromatics. What I like to use is onion and I've just got some celery and carrots here. Celery is all washed and ready to go. Carrots are already peeled. I'm just gonna put a quick dice on everything. So when I make my venison stock, I have a recipe in my cookbook called Venison Every Day. This recipe is great to do before I make the stock because I just save all the scraps and use them in the stock. So you'll see when I'm chopping these, I'm just leaving a pretty good size dice. I'm just gonna go to my celery, trim that off. I absolutely love celery. I know some people aren't fans of celery, but I think the sweetness is perfect in soups and stews. And actually that slight hint of sweet flavor works really, really well with venison because it helps to bring out the rich flavor and it kind of balances everything out because venison is a richer meat. I did not start eating venison until I met my husband, but I think recipes like this that are classic, um, this is kind of a classic French recipe, they really enhance the flavor of venison and make it so delicious. And when I make recipes like this, I honestly 100% prefer it to beef. So before I cut this carrot, I'm just gonna go back to the stove and kind of turn my searing venison. And I'm looking for some good color here. So. You want to have those brown crusty bits on your meat because that's really where the flavor pockets lie. So I have all of my veggies chopped up here. They're ready to go. Besides my garlic, I add garlic later than I add the larger vegetables. So I've got some really, really good color here on this venison. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of a pan and just set it on a plate. I'll just keep this plate on the stove. There's no need to set it anywhere else and all of the juices that are on the plate as well, they're gonna get added right back into the stew. I've got all of my venison set aside and now it's time to add the veggies. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my potatoes chopped up. I like to add the potatoes after I add the veggies because I just like to get an extra sear on the onions and the carrots, the celery, and it just makes it so much more flavorful. So you guys can see here, I'm doing a bite-sized dice on the potatoes. These are just regular old gold potatoes. If you just use the quantities that are called for in the recipe, again, the recipe's on my website, missalliskitchen.com, you can substitute with whatever veggies you have on hand. I love recipes like that, that are substitution friendly. They just have such a place in my house because soups and stews are great ways to clean out the freezer and the fridge too. So let me give this a stir. All of those good brown bits are starting to stick. Then I'm gonna go in with my potatoes. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up my garlic. I like to add garlic with my spices when I'm making soups and stews, or really anything that's saucy or kind of like a pasta sauce, a chili, because the oils in the olive oil and the oils that are released from the meat 
kind of infuse with what you are sauteing, so spices and garlic, and it really helps to bring out their flavor before you add liquids. I'm gonna give my garlic a nice fine little mince, but not too, too fine. But the finer that you have the mince on garlic, the more the flavor is able to evenly distribute. Garlic and venison go together like peanut butter and jelly. And then the other thing I'm gonna add is just some salt that's in here, and then this is Herbes de Provence. Herbes de Provence is a seasoning of the Provence region of France, and it's a really, really great blend of all different spices and seasonings, and it even has some lavender in there, which I absolutely love. It gives this floral note that works so well in this venison stew recipe. So again, I'm adding the spices and seasoning before I add any liquid. So this is just some tomato paste. It's gonna add some thickness. I'm just gonna start moving it around a little bit and let it release some of its flavor before I go ahead and add the liquid. What I'm using today is beef stock. It's what I had on hand. The flavors in beef stock will work absolutely fine. Now I'm just adding my diced tomatoes. And you'll see I'm just stirring here. The last thing that I'm gonna add before I add my seared venison is just a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. This just really gives a rich flavor to your stew. And it's something, again, that I use a lot in my venison recipes. It just provides that savory element. So now we've got this all combined and I'm gonna go ahead and add the cubed venison back into the soup with all of the pan drippings that kind of rendered out as it was sitting there. So that's gonna go right on in. And as this simmers and just has a party on the stove for about the next hour, these chunks of venison are gonna get so incredibly tender. You guys are not even gonna believe it. This is a really great recipe too. It's super healthy. So if you're trying to eat a little bit lighter, maybe start a new fitness goal or something like that, eat some leaner meats, this is a great recipe to have on hand. Okay, everybody, I've had this venison stew simmering on the stove for about two hours. The meat is so tender. I can't wait to dive in. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite meals. We have this about, hmm, oh my gosh. It's so good. Wow, but we do, we have this like about once a month in the cold months. And I love the flavor balance between the carrots and the celery and the herbs of Provence. It's so delicious. It really brings out the flavor of venison. So again, if you guys want this recipe, it's on my website, www.missalliskitchen.com. Or if you want more venison recipes, check out my cookbook. It's called Venison Every Day. It's available wherever books are sold. And if you guys are like us, you have venison in the freezer that you need to use up to respect your harvest, absolutely grab a copy. I know you're gonna love this cookbook like my family does. Like and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will see you next time and we'll make some more wild game recipes together.